信を確認Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Hero Con Sorry. So, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is taking a look at the brand new character that will be coming out in the latest updates、uh, for Hero Con Sorry. So, the new character is a Tetra type character. So, you know, Hero Con Sorry is a webtoon game. However, they will have their own special characters, the Tetra characters. And yeah, one of them is getting released today. We will be taking a look at the animation, the skills for the brand new character, as well as any new information on the updates. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more content on Hero Con Sorry. Let's get to 10k subscribers at 10k subscribers. I will be doing a giveaway, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys thought I quit the game, I technically haven't. I will take a look at every new update to come out to the game, however, I will not be playing as much、um, in the game, so that's the, only, that's the only thing that's actually changed right now. So, if you guys want to get notified when a new content on Hero Contari comes out, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that post notification is on as well. And if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you click the like button. Okay, let's get right into it. So, this is the March 8th update notice new, new character of failure. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So, the maintenance is going to be for six hours, which is technically long. So, with this update, there is going to be a new character, new hero dungeon. And I believe there is also going to be a new relic coming out as well. So, this is how a failure looks like. Like, um, usually it's animated. I don't know why this isn't showing the animated image, but yeah, this is how Ophelia is. She is a dark type character. Um, let's take a look at the animations for the skills. Hopefully, they haven't decided to remove that. Okay, there we go. Um, wait, uh, why is it like this? So, they decided to represent the skills this way now. It looks like they've changed it, but uh. Uh, yeah, this is the first chain. So, the first chain basically attacks one opponent with 130% attack, boost on attack by 30% for two turns, attack with different motion depending on the dice pips that appear. So, it looks like she does have a special passive skill that we'll be taking a look at afterwards. But this is the animation, and it looks slightly different each time.、Um, but yeah, this is how the animation is like. Moving on. Oh, there's another one at the bottom. I don't think. Oh, okay, there it is. So, the animation is very important to determine what she actually does.、Um, as you can see over here, or、oh, is this the other skills? No, I'm pretty sure it's just the animation being changed、uh, for the first skill. Moving on to the second skill over here. So, yeah, the first skin does have a type of unique attack.、Uh, so, yeah, this second skill over here、uh, pits attack all opponent with 110% attack. And if a critical hit occurs, inflicts additional pierce attack damage with 30% attack, removes all applied dice pipe on self, and grants a dice pipe 2 to 4 randomly. So she does have a special unique ability. Now, I didn't talk about whether the first skill was good, but、um, yeah, attacking one opponent with recent attack is also quite decent. And then she also has a, a chance to deal an additional attack or additional effects. So with that first chain, that is very good. Her second chain, I do feel like it's kind of similar to Crusader Mirror. Yo, which is a decent attack, however,、uh, Crusader Mirio's damage isn't that, isn't that good at the moment.、Um, so, but I do, I do understand that this attack with the、um, what's it called inflicting more、uh, pierce attack damage is going to be amazing. The pierce attack all opponents, well, very, very nice ability. Removes all applied dice pipe on herself and grants a dice pipe. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be special ability over there, but yeah, so far, I think she's quite decent. Let's go over to the、uh, third chain over here. So, this is the animation. Let's take a look at this. It looks like Bam being summoned, but I'm pretty sure that's not Bam. It's a girl being summoned, but because she. Yeah, okay. This is the animation. Pretty, pretty nice. So, third chain attack on opponent with 130% attack, decreases their defense by 90% for three turns, increases all allies' 30% attack for one turn. Removes all applied dice pipes on self and grants a dice pipe five to six randomly.、Um, this skill over here, pretty decent.、Um, I feel you could actually use this. The decreased defense is quite nice, as well as increasing the last attack. So, this could be very good in the、um, what's it called? World dungeon? No, not world dungeon. Labyrinth, sorry, guild labyrinth. Let's go ahead and take a look at the passive. So, the first passive over here 10% attack boost increases crit hit damage by for every five levels by 1.5%. So, the more you increase her level, the、um, more crit damage she basically gets, which is going to be nice. But I feel like with this character, you definitely want to build her in a dark team. You will actually notice that with her second passive over here. So, after, so this is a second passive called Doll Secret. After Phyllis uses one. 
chain skill if she has a uh, dice buff removes it and the buff below will be applied instead so boost attack of all allies with darkness attribute by uh 40 percent well by dice pipe times four percent accumulative up to 40 percent if you roll a dice five you get a boost 30 percent attack to all allies with darkness attribute for one turn if you roll a dice pipe six effect you get a boost 30 percent attack to all allies with darkness attribute by two turns so yeah she pro practically focuses on a dark team she's she seems decent i feel like if you want to build a dark team or you want to increase your overall darkness uh, type attack she might be a good unit for that but so far because i don't have her in game i can't really test her out um i don't know for certain if she's an op character but she definitely has her uses now let's see what else we actually got with this brand new update obviously with the new hero dungeon for the character she looks stunning i think the animation is quite good as well for the character and like i said we are getting a new relic let's go ahead and take a look at what this relic can actually do so with this um let's go ahead and take a look at it at level five so at level five of this relic after affiliate uses one chain skill if she has a dice buff boost attack of all allies with darkness attribute by wait a minute it looks like this um relic ss relic does the exact same thing as a passive so you're basically just increasing the overall damage that your darkness type characters can do i feel like this is going to be insane so at level five let's go over this again so she boosts all allies uh, darkness attribute by uh four times um accumulative or to 100 so she can boost all allies darkness attribute by 100 percent damn the maximum number is shared with Doll Secret. Uh, Doll Secret is the second passive. So I feel like if you want to use this character, you want this character to be extremely OP, this relic is definitely required. So if you do have this relic and you do have this character, she might be a top tier character for the dark team. Um, so yeah, that is what I want to talk about with this relic. She definitely seems very, very good. Um, hero events. I will not be summoning. Actually, no, nah, I will not be summoning for this character. The reason why i'm not going to summon is because even though she seems very very good um i have to get the relic as well as i don't really care too much about this character right now usually um if i was playing this game more more often i would actually care and i would have summoned i would have tried to get the relic but because right now i'm being picky because i do not have enough resources to keep summoning for every single character because i don't play too often um i do need to be specific on which character i summon on but she's absolutely she does seem like a very very top tier character i did hero collection so there is going to be a new collection because of the new character i did new backgrounds as well um also very very nice background uh, is there anything else with this brand new update mirror fragment acquisition um, event so we are getting new events um i will take a look at that in game this is the exchange stuff we can get the relic from here oh okay basically it might be a free to play event you can actually get the relic so it seems like if you can get the relic for free then summoning for this character will probably be good um with this you can get yourself a guaranteed ss character on the seventh day make sure you log in seven days um pretty decent resources over here and i believe okay so this is the banner so she is with the sweet dream Chloret, Chloretta or something like that um yeah they're both actually two characters that buff up the dark team so i feel like if you want to make your dark team extra like op this sweet dream charlotte as well as ophelia might be worth using okay looks like you can actually get the background for free as well i believe you do like 60 summons and stuff like that new battle pass as well and i think that is it with this brand new update but yeah hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on hero Contari. i will not be summoning but i hope everyone else who is summoning have amazing luck it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out